Hey everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to show you how I've made these, what I'm calling a shaped spring card. You can make these in any shape you want. If you don't have dies, you can make a square shape. You can draw around circles or any other shapes that you might have. Very, very easy to do. But I just wanted to show you a creative and fun use for your nesting dies if you've got them. And I'll show you the ones that I've used in a moment. But I've made this really lovely, this one's like a good luck or, you know, congratulations kind of card. But I'm going to be doing a Christmas version in a moment. The whole thing folds flat you've got your stand here on the back and all your space to write your message and you can see it stands up really nicely and then each one of these has a little spring behind them which i'm going to show you how to make and then it will all go flat into your envelope obviously i've gone a bit bigger with these ones but you don't have to start with the largest nesting dies start with the ones that are going to fit in the envelope size that you like to you know use and make and you can see there they just kind of pop up again it's so easy to make and minimal supplies are needed so let's get started so this is the paper pad I'm using. It's the North Star. It is an older paper pad, but it was just perfect when I thought about using stars and then I was looking through the pads and I saw this. I thought I've got to use it. So I'm going for these blues and silvers today. But like I said, it can be used for any occasion, any shape sizes. And just to give you an idea on just how many of the nesting dies are available at Craft Stash, you can see here, these are just some of the ones that I have. So you've just got all the shapes you can think of different than designs so this is the stars that i've used for today but you've also then got your jagged edge or torn edge stars um, those are the torn edge range there actually then you've got your inverted scallops and the inverted different shapes and um, what else have we got that's again another torn edge but you can see there's just so much these are the older packagings but this is a stitch detail star Again, would look wonderful you can see there the hexagons I'm definitely going to be doing I think the hexagons that can you imagine every two so you because you need two for each layer so one two three four five six seven layers you could create I mean you know you don't have to do the very smallest ones because you might want to pop a sentiment there but you can have your sentiment anywhere as well on these you know card shapes so and there's the oval so just to give you, a, you know, a quick <laughs> glance there at all of the different ones that are available. But like I said, I've chosen to use the stars here. So everybody's is going to be different. I'm just showing you the process on how I've made my one. So what I've done, first of all, is I've got here four pairs. So I've got a mat and a layer, mat and a layer, mat and a layer and a mat and a layer. So you want to choose, if you're going to do it like this, what four layers you want. So again, one, two, three, four. So I'm starting with the largest from here and I've just worked my way down. So you can see there, I've got that one with, I think it's then that size. Yeah. And then again, the next set. I think I was only left with the three smallest ones. So there's that one that one so I've kept the same colour as the background for all of these which is the I think it was a Phil Martin or it might have been a uh, Creative Expressions if I can find it I will link it below it's just like a very pale blue grey colour works perfectly with this collection and then for that one it's those two and then for the last one in my sentiment it's that one and that one so yeah I was left with these three here and what I did with the very smallest, I just went back and cut three, which I'm going to then just decorate like I have here. So that's what you want to cut, but you might want to continue your layers again. Yours might be even bigger to start with. I think it's quite a nice decorative piece as well. You also want to cut yourself another one of the largest. I've actually cut two and stuck them together because the weight of this cardstock it just wasn't going to be enough to have it hold as a card base. So I've stuck two together there and I've used the construction glue. I've then just scored. I've just chosen these two points here to score across, but it's up to you where you score. But I would say it needs to be about three quarters of the way down. And this is going to be our stand. I'm just going to fold that in half. So that we do first actually is going to stick onto the back of here, like so. And then we're going to have a little stopper in there. So we've got all that space to write our message. So we do that first of all. Again, I'm going to use the construction glue. It's just going to really strengthen everything. So whatever shape you're doing, this is the same process. 
I'm, like I said, I'm definitely going to revisit this because I just think it's such a fun card style and it's really easy, you know, very little thought has to go into creating this one. Okay, so now you'll see that stands already, but it will probably slide open. So you want to cut yourself. I've cut loads of these. You probably won't need as many as I have, but you, for the stand, you want to cut one piece. That's two by one. Along the two inch side, you just want to score it half an inch, one inch and one and a half. This is how I make all my stoppers. And you're going to fold it so you have a valley, mountain and a valley. And then I'm just going to add some glue along one of the sides there. Folded side facing down. And I'm just going to stick it just above that middle point there. So what, again, whatever shape. I mean, if this was like an oval, then I would, you know, bring it up maybe one inch, one and a half, whatever you stick this in by is how far it will kind of expand open. So just play around because it might, if you go too high up, then it's going to really still open quite wide from the bottom. So the lower down you are, the less it's going to open up. So just pop the glue on the top then and just close that up. So now when that opens, it's only going to open up maximum one inch. But that's more than enough to be able to hold our star there. Looks really, really nice. Okay, so then I want to start sticking down all of my layers. Now these, this isn't a symmetrical star, so you just need to move them around until you get it exactly where it needs to be. It's more, you've got these three kind of at the top and then these two at the bottom. So it's like, it's a bit more stretched, I guess. So these pieces here, these are, actually it is a slightly different size to that other piece. But these are measure are two and a half by one. Along the two and a half side, you're going to score at half an inch, three quarters, one inch, and then one and a half, one and three quarters and two. Now these are the springs. So the amount of these you need is up to you because on the larger ones, I've added two. So it's kind of one under this side and one under this side. I think then these two, I only added one. So it really is going to depend. You just want to make sure that it's all balanced because if you just stick one down and you're slightly off centre, then it might just tilt slightly to the left or the right once you start layering up more on top. So two's going to be best for the larger ones. What you're going to do is create a valley and then a mountain and then a valley. So you've just done valley, mountain, valley. You want to do another valley and then a mountain and then finish with a valley. You want to create a little kind of square with the springs kind of going inside. Can you see? So this one overlaps that one. You can see where we've got our little spring. And then I'm just going to use some tape, some glue there and just fold that one down. Now the heavier weight, the better the spring because it's obviously going to be harder to fold it. This is about a two, I think it's about 220 GSM, but that's a nice enough spring. That's okay. So I know I'm going to need two for the bigger ones. So I'm just going to do another one. So I'll show you this fold again. So a valley, mountain, valley, valley again, mountain, valley. So I'm going to take those two off for the minute, flip this over and I'm going to add some glue here and here and then just stick each of the springs down. I'm going to try and get them, I guess, as equal as possible. But that's going to be enough to support each side. And then I can add my glue on the back of each one and make sure no glue gets in anywhere else. And now the key is to line it up, first of all, where you want it to go. So I want to make sure I've got that same border up a little bit there there we go push that down so now we've got that first spring okay now with this one like i said i think i just needed the one so i'm going to create another spring and then that one i'm just going to pop right in the middle and also the less you burnish and really squash all the folds the more it's going to spring and then that one Again, just lining up so I've got the same borders. So now you see there we've got a nice spring on that one. 
and then the last one now this i've already used a sentiment from a new sentiment set which is launching in a couple of weeks time and it's part of the creative craft products brand so look out for that one when i saw that one i thought it's going to be perfect for this set so star of wonder for this festive one and then also in that same set is this one here you're a star so when you do the single ones, just make sure you do get it in the middle because like i said if you're slightly off then it might kind of topple but it's more on the larger ones this this small one isn't going to move and using the liquid glue just gives me a little bit of time if i need to just turn it and move it slightly there we go so now already you can see that lovely spring we've got so it will all go flat into an envelope but it will naturally pop up and you just have that wonderful dimension it looks so good and then i'm just going to finish it with a couple of stars so i've got that one Go there. I'm going to put them in about the same place as before. So I've just pulled out. This was some paint cardstock that I got from the, one of the creative craft shows that I went to, and I hadn't used this particular one yet. So it's worked again really nicely. So it's just that very back one, but then you've got a, you know, a little bit of it again on the front there. Okay, so just bring that up. Look at all that dimension. And it's really neat, stands really nicely. And like I said at the beginning, you don't need dies. You can do this with squares. You could draw around some circles if you want to do a circle shape and look at what other you know dies you might already have that you can be creative with. But I think it looks really nice with the stars. I think they make really special Christmas cards. And also like I have here, this one, you know, like a good luck or congratulations kind of card. So thank you for watching as always. I will link the product that I've used in the description box below. I will have some other similar ish kind of tutorials popping up next that you might want to go and watch and also as i always say if you're not subscribed and you've enjoyed today make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell and then you won't miss out on any future videos take care and i'll see you all again soon bye